Wilder. Former five-year reigning WBC heavyweight world champion Deontay Wilder will meet Fair's UK rival Tyson Fury for a third time. They've penciled in 24th of July 2021 as their fight date planned to be staged at the new 65,000 seated Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Even though it has ruled out the undisputed fight for now between Fury and AJ, Fury versus Wilder 3 could be a good fight. Yes, Wilder got beat convincingly last time around, and yes, there's been inactivity for over a year, so we can't quite gauge where both fighters are at. But the fight still has intrigue, especially if Deontay Wilder shows up with the energy he's been showing off as of lately, and we're going to talk about that in this video. So it's great to have you here at Ringside Stories. I'm your host, Boxing's Objective Observer. And before we start, I just want to thank you for watching. So please consider a like, feel free to share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because it will help grow the channel, i.e. inspire me to make quality content for y'all. To this day, there's the only one Bryce Palmer. Now personally, I don't like the fight for Wilder as his first comeback fight because I remember these words of wisdom from former two-weight unified world champion Andre SOG Ward like it was yesterday. What I saw tonight in Las Vegas is a movie that I've seen many many times in my 25 years in the sport. It's a puncher, a fighter who has built his whole reputation, his whole career on fear and invincibility and this is going to be a very very difficult fight for Deontay Wilder to, to overcome, not just physically, but psychologically. Now, of course, Team Wilder has been very active as of lately, posting several of Deontay Wilder's training videos where we see Deontay putting in the rounds with a bit of new insight, giving away a bit of his game plan with his new trainer Malik Scott as per tweet. The revolution will be televised and I can't wait. Hashtag odd guy, hashtag two time heavyweight champion hashtag keep that same energy hashtag either way we win at bronze bomber glass a glass and deontay's newfound mindset glass a glass is russian for an eye for an eye Although the Bronze Bomber posted this two days after Alexander Povetkin KO'd Dillian White with a brutal uppercut in August of 2020, I'm very sure Wilder did not aim these shots at the WBC interim champion, rather to Dillian White's countryman Tyson Fury, who obviously took the full-fledged WBC title from Deontay in brutal fashion. And that explains this rant. To all my loved ones around the world, just want to let you know that I am here. Your king is here. And we ain't going nowhere. For the war has just begun. I am a warrior. I'm a king that would never give up. I'm a king that will fight to the death. And if anyone don't understand that, don't understand what it is to go to war don't understand what it is to fight. I don't think the outcome will be different this time around and we'll get to why in the video on Fury vs Wilder 3 from Tyson Fury's point of view. However, if Deontay Wilder really comes to win, assuming Wilder still can pack that punch, Wilder can prove me and all of his critics wrong. And that is exactly where the intrigue is for Fury vs. Wilder 3. As far as Wilder's training footage, doesn't tell us that much. Oh, don't hit back. Or in this case, pats don't hit back. Pad work does not emulate a fight. 
and since Wilder's last fight dates back to over one year ago, which was a humiliating defeat for Deontay, this pat work training doesn't tell us anything about Wilder's psychology either. And with Fury vs Wilder 3 being less than two months away, the questions remain. How will Deontay Wilder implement his newfound adjustments in the actual fight? How much has Deontay Wilder recovered psychologically from his devastating loss to Tyson Fury in their last fight? And how much of Wilder's newfound mindset does he actually believe himself? As far as I observe from the outside looking in, these videos are meant to gas up Wilder supporters, especially Wilder fanatics, and to boost Deontay's confidence. But if Deontay Wilder can prove me and all of his boxing critics wrong, beat Tyson Fury, well, that still serves us as boxing fans, as it would make the heavyweight landscape a bit more interesting. You ever looked into a killer's eyes before, Tyson? Yes, I have. I'm looking you know, at a very, pussy cat, you know, they're very calm with it. Wilder, this is a big act for him. He's very nervous underneath. I can see his jumper going in and out with his heartbeat pounding out of his chest. Terrified. You believe he's Terrified. nervous right now? I've looked at plenty of killers, they're, they're very calm, man. Plenty of them. Very and they calm. don't look like okay. you. You don't believe none of the words that you say. <laughs> You can't punch. I don't know what you talking about. Knocking somebody in the second round. You ain't never knocked nobody in no second round. You got pillows for fists. That's why I kept running through you. You cause you can't uh -uh. punch. I've never been as quick. I've never been as powerful. I've never been as explosive. I lead the I'm people ready. Sunday to say a prayer. You're only you. banking on me having two fights in three years, or else you wouldn't have took the fight. This time around, you ain't getting up because I brought my six foot inch nails and I bought a big hammer from Alabama, babe. In the next video, we'll discuss why I believe Tyson Fury wins the Fury vs. Wilder 3 fight and that there's only one obstacle Fury has to overcome, in my opinion. So stay tuned for that. What are your thoughts on the Fury vs. Wilder 3 fight so far? What do you make of Deontay Wilder's training footage? Leave a comment below and let's have a conversation. Feel free to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. This is Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.